everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a beauty haul. Um, I picked up a few, I picked up a lot of things from Ulta today. I went shopping with my friend and then I made a, an online order on Sephora um, a few days ago and it just arrived today. So I figured why not combine them and share them with you. I have not tested any of these products out yet. I haven't un boxed them, nothing. So you and I are going to do it together. Um, so without too much rambling, let's jump right in. First thing is my giant Ulta bag. And I've gotten a couple of things from Ulta. There are two Ultas um, near where I live, and the newer one has a lot newer brands to Ulta than the other one ever had. Um, for instance, they have like a whole BH Cosmetics section, um, Essence, uh, Revolution, um, they have a MAC section as well. They have just like a whole bunch of brands that the other Ulta did not have. Um, so I was really excited when they first opened and they are constantly bringing in newer stuff. And today when I went, I was pleasantly surprised that they... Oop, I put my sunglasses in there. They started carrying Morphe in store. Now I have never actually tried any of the Morphe makeup products, I've only ever tried the brushes and I'm a big fan. Um, Morphe has a lot of synthetic brushes which I find really really nice um, because obviously other ones are made from animal fur and I do not use those ones. Um, so, or at least I'm pretty positive all of my brushes are synthetic. But I digress. Um, so I saw that they had like three different palette sizes, this being the smallest, and then they had a medium, which was like the mocha brown palette or something like that. And I think it was around $18, and that was the one that I was immediately drawn to, and they were sold out of it. So I was like, meh. Um, and then the large ones were like $24, I believe, and then the small ones were 12 so this is the 9A Always Golden palette. Um, it has nine shades. Just gonna throw everything on the floor. Very sleek black packaging. Um, the only thing I was a little, oh, mine has a mirror. <gasps> Yay! That's exciting. The one, that was there did not have a mirror and I was like oh why don't any of the Morphe palettes have mirrors the one that was on display did not have a mirror so that's exciting yay okay so this is the palette I went with it's got nine shades it's more on the neutral warmer side um, I tend to typically like cool toned colors more than warm toned colors I know everybody in them mama it is obsessed with cool, uh, warm tone or warm shade eyeshadows um, and they look fantastic on a lot of people don't get me wrong and sometimes I can pull them off but I tend to like to stay on the cooler side I think it's just my skin tone and my eye color it really does look great together um, but yeah I got this warm tone one and um, I swatched some of the colors and they're super buttery super soft and I'm really really excited to play with this um, like I said it was only $12 so I mean these eyeshadows are like the same size as the Anastasia ones and one of them I believe is more than $12 so I mean $12 the next Morphe item I picked up is a brush the M530 give me a second the M530 brush um I thought that this would be really good for, I don't know what I thought this would be really good for, but I liked the size of it, I liked the shape of it, and it is very soft, and I love the Morphe brushes, I own quite a few of them. It's a bummer it doesn't tell me what it's for. I will look on the Morphe website and leave that in the description box down below to see what this brush is ideally for, um, but yeah, I like it, so excited to use that. The next product I picked up, oof, 
got a lot of stuff in here. Um, the next product I picked up is from a brand that I had never really heard of before. Um, but they are the brand called Times, T-H-Y-M-E-S. And this is a hand cream in the eucalyptus scent. Um, I picked this up because I ha I use hand creams like nobody's business um, and I always have two on rotation on my nightstand and I just ran out of one and I'm dangerously low probably only have about like two more pumps in the next one um, and so I needed a hand cream and this is um, paraben free people tested and um, recyclable packaging. So it sounded pretty good. And I smelt this in the store. First of all, the packaging is just really cute. Um, but I smelt this in the store and it smelled amazing. Um, I do, I am a fan of eucalyptus. Oh, there's a seal on it. Never mind. Um, I am a fan of eucalyptus. Like I burnt or I diffuse um, eucalyptus essential oils all the time. Um, I love the smell of it. Um, and I thought that this would be a very, very nice nighttime hand cream to kind of soothe you and make you sleepy and I don't know if it'll do any of that but here's to hoping. The next thing I picked up which is also a lotion-y item. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with lotions but I am. I have like five billion lotions and I use them all. I really do. Like I use them all. Um, sometimes I'll use one you know, for a while and then put it down and start using another one. But I just, I'm, I'm obsessed with lotions and I use them all the time. I use them on my hands, my feet, my body. After I get out of the shower, you know, just, I use lotions so, so much. And I'm always drawn to lotions, body lotions, hand lotions, any kind of lotion. Moisturizers, obsessed with moisturizers. I just like moisture on my body. <laughs> so I picked up this brand, um, which is Treats traditions rediscover and cherish um, ancestral cosmetology this is a revitalizing ceremonies body lotion with wild thyme and cranberry and omg this stuff smells amazing oh my god it's it smells like a spa like unbelievably soothing and calming and tranquil like a spa like I just want to take a shower get out of the shower slather this all over my body and go to sleep and I just feel like this would make my night so peaceful like the scent is unreal it is so amazing and I can't remember exactly how much this was but I will leave that in the description box below they had a bunch of scents they had a bunch of other products as well but this is the one I picked up and I really do appreciate the packaging and how it has a pump and it's just I, I just I love it now I oh my god everything else <laughs> everything else I have here Ooh. All right, now everything else I have here is uh, nail related. Um, I've been doing uh, dip powder nails at um, a nail salon for quite a while um, recently and I just wanna get back into kind of like painting my own nails um, just because it's a very, you know, something that you do for yourself. I do appreciate when I get it done, you know, by someone else, but, um, I just kind of wanted to do it myself and I feel like I have all these nice nail polishes that I've invested in and I'm not really using them and um, yeah and it costs you know a lot of money to get your nails done on a regular constant basis and then plus getting like shellac and dip powder I feel it just weakens my nails so much over time so I've just decided to kind of give myself a little bit of, br of a break from getting my nails done. So I've gotten some nail things. This is made by the brand called Flowery. The Block On Time to Shine Wand. So I actually thought that this was for something, but apparently not. Apparently it's just, you know, like the stick that you hold. Um, but it's got two sides. It's basically like a buffing brush for your nails. Um, nothing too exciting. So, but it's only got two sides. Um, the So the silver side removes the ridges and then the pinky rose tone side shines your nail so yeah 
needed a new one of these. My old one was getting worse for wear. The next thing I picked up is just one of those um, like blocks that you like really get like any flakiness off of your nails with. Um, sometimes, not all the time, but when my nails are like really getting, you know, malnourished or whatever you want to call it, they do um, sort of peel a little bit. So I find that these really help with that. Nothing very exciting, but... And then I picked up some nail polish things. I asked one of the ladies. I've tried quite a few brands of nail polishes, and for a while I really got on with the Sally Hansen uh, gel nail polish combo, but then after using them um, for a little bit, I started noticing that every time I used them, after like day two, I would notice like little cracks throughout the polish, like very fine thin little cracks that you really couldn't notice unless you were like looking at your nails but I'm OCD and that sort of thing bothered me um so and I had bought in like so many colors of that nail polish and it only does that on my nails it doesn't do it on my toes when I paint my toes with it so I'll keep them for my toes but I'm not going to use them on my nails anymore because that really bothers me so I've tried a lot of nail polishes and I asked the lady at Ulta what sh her recommendations were and she recommended this uh, CND Vinyl Lux brand. Um, so I got the top coat. She said that it works really, really great, but it works really, really great if you use it in conjunction with the top coat. And I do find that if you purchase a certain brand of nail polish, it normally works a lot better if you use it in conjunction with the top coat or the base coat that is made for that brand. Um, so I picked up the top coat and then I picked up this color. Um, it is called Radiant Chill. Um, it's kind of like a rose goldy sort of color. Um, I don't know why I'm, I'm really drawn to these sorts of, sorts of shades. Um, I was going to get like a really springtime purple color, but I already have like three of those. Um, so yeah, I picked up this color and I'm very excited to see if this works. It's supposed to last a week. We'll see. And then the last two I use, I got, um, she said that everyone is raving about the Essie um, gel polish combo. Um, so I was like, why not? I'll give it a try. Got the top coat and then I got this like mauve gray sort of shade. Um, this is in the shade, what are you called? <laughs> it's called Take Me to Thread. Get it? <laughs> I see what you did there, Essie take me to thread. Um, yeah, super, super cute. I love neutral nude tone shade nail polishes. Those are my favorites to wear. I occasionally will do like a pop of color, but most of the time you will see me with like nude neutral nail polish on. So very excited to try these. If you have tried either of these nail polish combinations, let me know your thoughts, your opinions, uh, please. It would be greatly appreciated to know if it's worth in work, if it's worth investing in any more colors. So, okay. So now on to the Sephora goodies that I purchased online. Woo! Throw that away. So I purchased a couple of things on the Sephora website um, at nighttime, which is always dangerous. Um, but recently I have been, especially because we're going into spring and summertime and I live in Florida and I really wanted some things that were going to brighten, make my face glowy, dewy, beautiful, radiant. So that's basically what I got here. Um, the first thing, which is something I'm very, very excited about, I have been trying another thing from this brand, Saturday Skin. This is the Daily Dew Hydrating Essence Mist. And this had some pretty, all of the Saturday Skin items have like some pretty seriously good reviews. Um, so this is supposed to be a hydrating mist. You can use it, you know, as part of your skincare routine, but then you can also use it throughout the day over makeup. So I thought that, that was pretty interesting. And then plus it's hydrating. So we're going to, we're going to test it out. Ooh, it smells nice. Ooh. And I like that mist. It's very fine. It's not like squirt in your face and it's not 
also like One of my favorite mists is the Glam Glow Glow Setter, but I find with this one you have to get like a little bit, like actually a lot of bit close to the face in order to like actually feel this spraying on you. Um, but this one, you know, is, you know, you have to normal distance and you can still feel it, but it's not like squirty. Um, it's got just a fine mist, which I really like. So hopefully I'll get on with this. I really like the scent, like the packaging, very simplistic, so yeah. And the next thing I got is also another facial item. I have been hemming and hawing over getting one of these forever and a day. These are the um, Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. And I got mine in the shade Sunlight. I thought that this would be really nice for spring, summer. It's a more bronzy shade to kind of mix in with my foundations or, you know, put on before my foundation um, to kind of give myself a little bit more of a bronzed, sun kissed look to the face. Um, these have amazing reviews, and I believe that I saw Alana Davidson using one of these in that way and I was like that is an awesome idea I'm gonna try that so um the shade lighter than this was sold out so hopefully this isn't too dark for me we will see the next item I got which is really small <laughs> wasn't expecting it to be this small this is the Becca under eye brightening setting powder and I think that's what um drew me into it. I really love the uh, the hourglass under eye or pressed powder things <laughs> that um, have that luminosity pearlescent uh, sort of thing going on in the powder. I absolutely love using those to set my under eyes. They're beautiful. They're glowy. They last all day long. They're just amazing. Those are my absolute favorite. But I wanted to give this a shot because this had really good reviews and I've seen a couple of people using it. Um, so I wasn't expecting it to be so small, but whatever. Um, it is a loose powder. Um, so hopefully this gives me the effect of super, you know, beauty sleep, brightening under the eyes effect. That's what I'm looking for. And then the last item I got, which was a total Estee Lalonde purchase, is the Fenty Beauty um, Gloss Balm Universal Lip Luminizer. Um, ooh, this is very pretty packaging. I was expecting it to be a lot smaller because they're the, I can't even read this, it's so small. The little lip sticks by them, I mean, <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, they're great, the pigmentation's great, and I, I, I almost kind of like the fact that it's so small and lightweight. It fits into a handbag really nicely, um, especially if you're going to be using a clutch for like a night out, whatever. Um, they're really cute, they're, you know, really lightweight, they weigh like nothing, um, and they're small, so they fit in, you know, a smaller handbag really nicely, um, but yeah this is a lot bigger. Um, so yeah, I was just watching, um, Estee Lalonde's, um, favorites video, I think it was, and she mentioned this, and I have heard things about this, but typically I'm not a gloss girl. Really the only gloss I've really ever liked or used is the NYX Butter Glosses, um, but other than that, I'm really not a gloss girl, don't really like glosses. Actually, I'm wearing a NYX Butter Gloss right now, um, but she raved about it, and when it comes to makeup, I trust that girl. I trust her. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to see this on. It says it's a universal shade. We shall see about that. Um... Let me see if it has a smell. Ooh. What does that smell like? Some kind of candy. Ooh, I don't know. I, I don't, I can't put my finger on it, but that smells amazing. Oh my God. Oh, that's really going to bother me. It's like on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember. Some sort of candy-ish flavor, like runts or nerds. I don't know. That's really going to bother me now. Damn it. Okay. So yeah, 
Fenty Beauty Universal Lip Gloss Balm thing. So that is everything that I have purchased. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see future videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button um, to see future videos and this face. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.